Have you ever thought about pulling a fifth wheel with a semi truck? Hey guys, it's Rose from Reset Your Journey and there is a Peterbilt semi truck right here in this RV park and we are super curious so we're gonna go check it out. All right, this is Don and he's from Saskatchewan, yeah. Canada. He pulls this with a 2000 Peterbilt. And how is it drilling? Uh, it's this? good. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. For mountains, it pulls a lot better than mm -hmm. a, a one-ton pickup, so. Awesome. Would you mind showing us a little bit the inside? Yeah, go right ahead. Normal peat, nothing too fancy in that. Just all the wow. gauges. Wow, look at all the gauges. Yeah. I've never been inside mm -hmm. one, so this is pretty cool. Yeah. Got the bed back there. Awesome. How old is it? It's at 2,000. 2000. Yeah, so there's no emissions on this mm -hmm. truck, mm -hmm. no depth. Wow. So yeah, I prefer that. You use this for work? Yeah, Explain yeah. A little bit. Yeah, I'm on a live on a farm, mm -hmm. and I got hayland. Plus, I do oil field work with it, hauling water, and mm -hmm. I haul my hay. And plus, I've got heavy equipment too mm -hmm. that I own and operate, and this truck hauls everything and does everything for me so it's not just for <laughs> yeah. play it's for work right. too so but that's <clears throat> awesome that you have it and you can tow the fifth wheel. yeah because yeah. how heavy is the fifth wheel when it's loaded up with everything it's close to about twenty five thousand pounds right loaded it's about half a legal load yeah. down mm -hmm. south here so because i think it's fifty thousand pounds right. Right. for five axle oh semi so so when you're towing with this what does it feel like do you feel like you have something back there or? yeah it, the camper is pretty well balanced so mm -hmm. you it's not like you have a whole bunch of weight on the on the truck right but I've got electric brake controller in ah, the truck yes. so it'll run the camper brake so like in our Ford we've got that trailer assist the yeah. brake yeah see mine mine works on the brake too okay so as soon as you touch brakes yeah it'll yeah. break the yeah. trailer automatic too awesome. so that's helpful probably the same thing as your your truck yes uh, that's my sleeper where you can sleep in yeah and it's got the main bed mm -hmm. and if you have a team driving there is a bunk bed up bunk top beds. did so. you hear that boys bunk beds yeah, yeah. Now, when you're traveling and you're just kind of trying to get somewhere you can pull off into a truck stop or yeah. someplace that will accommodate and you yeah can just... anything that's big rig friendly is what mm -hmm. i just pull into otherwise some places that are just for smaller vehicles you can't you can't really do that no and then no. do you just camp right in here you hang out there or in your yeah. RV what do you like to do I can do both I can stay right in the truck mm -hmm. or or in the camper yeah. depending on yeah what it feels like or yeah you have so. a choice <laughs> yeah this is pretty cool tell us about your hookup for your motorcycle well, this is a motorcycle deck that I built, and it's mm -hmm. it's on a roller system, and it's got a winch hooked up to the deck, mm -hmm. so you can roll the deck off and winch it onto the ground, mm -hmm. and then you can push your bike up onto the deck and you strap it down, and and once it's all strapped down, then you you just winch it back up and mm -hmm. you. You bolt the deck and everything down so nothing moves and so now this is kind of one of a kind because you made this yourself, yeah right? <laughs> yeah I had, with the welding yeah yeah i had so. the idea four years ago mm -hmm. i've seen other setups too so that kind of give me a little bit of an yeah, idea, idea but i know i built it and, and, and it it's works. yes <laughs> it's pretty heavy it's probably well, people say it's farm built, yes. so <laughs> it looks so like it. It looks it's really quite strong heavy. and heavy. So, yeah, but nothing mm. for the pier built. <laughs> no, no, awesome. I don't mind the extra weight on the right. truck anyway. Right. So, talk to us a little bit about the the hitch for the fifth wheel. Is that the that's same? actually the same on any truck? Okay. 
this truck could hook up to your camper, the pitch on your camper is the same thing. So it's not like you have to change, change it. anything. So, no. so it, I just slid the fifth wheel back and it just gives me enough clearance for turning right. and stuff. So curious, gas mileage. This versus your one ton. Uh, this probably isn't going to be quite as good as the one ton, mm -hmm. you know, but it, it's probably not going to be far off being towing the weight right it'll be a lot heavier on a one ton mm -hmm. truck what is gas mileage some guys can get four to oh eight God. miles to the gallon so four it depends on what how heavy and right how much you're pulling. oversized load and mm -hmm. how much wind drag and mm -hmm. it depends on a lot of how big are these tanks how often do you have to fill up they're probably close to 100 gallons of the wow. tank okay. so okay. so yeah so you can you can go a long ways, you can. probably a, you know, a day or two days driving. Mm -hmm. So, right. and they're not cheap to fill up either. No. <laughs> <laughs> Empty so, your pockets too. Yeah. Though. Is that an extra thing? Is that typical? Well, some guys like to dress up their trucks, so okay. they'll buy eight-inch pipes wow. and yeah. yeah. Normally, I think they're just like a five or a six inch pipe. Okay. So, yeah. everybody's got all their little add-ons. Right. That makes what it they want on the unique. truck and yeah fun so yeah fun, fun. this fun. truck came with everything on it the scene so mm -hmm. so i haven't really done anything extra to it so i don't know much about these peterbilt or any of these mac trucks how much do they typically run well N used new yeah it depends on like i know new trucks mm -hmm. probably back home or depending on the truck will be 125 to 200 and some thousand so is that american is that canadian? well that's canadian okay. or whatever but yeah. but then it depends on what you want on the truck so yeah some trucks might cost you to 300,000 oh, depending right. what you want on right. it or what you do right. to it and right. how you dress it up and i bought this used and it was about 70,000 that okay. I paid back home. Oh, so. that's great. Yeah. So obviously this is not going to fit in most places. So where do you find luck? Where do you find a place? Ah, uh, well, I try to find big rig friendly right. or when I'm looking at campgrounds, I Google it to yeah. see, mm -hmm. you know, an overhead view to see if I can fit into a campsite right. or mm -hmm. sometimes trees aren't very friendly no. to me so <laughs> I might take one out I don't know. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you actually have fit in a camper like in Canada or in yeah Alaska? in both places it okay. just some places are a little smaller and you right. gotta wiggle around to get right. into them you but get into it. as long as I got the room to get in mm -hmm. I can I can manage, but some yeah. places you just can't. No, no. It doesn't matter. Right. Well, thank you so much. Obviously, you're happy doing this. Yeah. With the fifth wheel, it works the best. Yeah, it works and, for me. Uh, it was so great meeting you, and yeah. I wish you well for the rest of your travels. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. <laughs>